Let's listen to this first, guys. Uh, yes, certainly. Hello, my friends. Uh, we could hear some squeaky noise noises uh, coming out from the redrailer. Uh, I'm showing you now that it's re it's really worth it to uh, clean it just first because uh, this is new derailleur, one outside ride, uh, and it's gonna get uh, quite dirty. So just clean it from outside uh, so that when you remove different parts, you don't you don't actually make it worse. Uh, these are all the steps you need to know, um, quite easy, so no problem here. But definitely I was trying to find the, the real reason for the noise, I found it, I have found it. It's not uh, very easy actually to, uh, to get rid of it, because uh, after all this uh, maintenance uh, I did, I heard it once again, but finally uh, I, I have solved the issue and I'm gonna tell you how I did it. So guys, uh, when you don't want to break uh, the chain, uh, you just open up the plates. So remove the tension pulley, which is the the bottom pulley, and then uh, just a little bit more here. Okay, do it slowly because you can put too much tension on the on that little bolt from for the guide pulley. But once it's open now, you can remove. Hold the derailleur while you're doing this. You don't want to damage the thread on your frame. Uh, on the hanger and on the uh, bolt. So check out the uh, the pulleys. Uh, this is Sora R3000. I highly recommend you very often to buy budget bikes on Sora, Tiagra, uh, Claris. But you're gonna see this will be actually a good um, good uh, good moment to say that uh, the more more expensive parts can be actually more durable, because here we've got no bearings and no seals. Uh, the seal that we that we had on 20 years uh, like 20 years before on the old XT LX derailers are not there on the Sora 2018. Uh, one um, seal would cost I don't know how many, 5 cents maybe. They're not there. Uh, and you want to you want to have like very nice and smooth movement on these parts. Uh, I'm showing you that the new derailleur here has got a lot of grease. Get rid of it. Uh, Shimano, bad work, very bad work. Putting just grease all over the place uh, means that derailleur will work okay at the beginning, but it will get so much dirt and grime super quickly. Even though this is for the road bike, yes, uh, it's gonna get very, uh, very dirty. This was only 60 kilometers outside and a couple of rides on the turbo trainers so of course uh, no no dirt inside but on the outside a lot of it i saw that there was some you see uh, there was some grease on one side and almost no on the other side in the pulley uh, this is how it works so this is the bushing the bushing inside the plastic thing and then the guide pulley bushing insta inside the uh, metal insert in the pulley you see now i'm removing the bushing from the guide pulley so the the top one and you can see uh, here there is uh, some insert and this shows we've got some friction here metal against metal that can cause friction 99% this was the place what I did wrong during my maintenance uh, was that I I've just put too, too little of a grease uh, so in this case this is this is the place in my opinion in this case guys just put a lot of grease a lot of grease i'm gonna clean on the all the parts uh, if uh, your derailleur is not new like mine uh, and it's very dirty just uh, use some degreaser and and even uh, some water foamy water just as as i did with the xtm 8000 a couple of days ago on the tutorial uh, i don't need it here so i'm just using a clean uh, brush and uh, and that's that's how it works for me. There is no sand here. This is very good thing to do uh, on the pulleys. Uh, also the bushings, you want to have those bushings uh, clean from the inside and from the outside. Uh, and now we are putting the grease. Uh, we want to have a lot of grease right here. The problem is you can put it on the bushing, but when you push the bushing inside the pulley, 
there is um, not much space in be between those two parts uh, the grease will be pushed away so it's good to do it a couple of times and try to push the the grease inside in between the the pulley and the um, and the bushing uh, on the bolt I just had a second ago uh, a second before um, don't put the uh, the grease on the thread because there is some thread lock on it so you just want to have uh, some grease on the bolt where, the, where there is no thread uh, because that would be a threat <laughs> for you so more grease this was my uh, my problem here was too too little of a grease more grease here I should push it inside a lot and yes you're gonna have to look at these uh, at these pulleys from time to time because there is no no seal here between the metal parts the covers uh, and the inside uh, and then clean everything from the outside but uh, still when you when you that's that's the place when you put a lot of grease there it will be pushed away uh, if you ride uh, sometimes in a in a dirty conditions in a wet conditions the grease also will go uh, will be also pushed to the outside from inside to the outside and uh, and uh, then it will start to attract some dirt so make sure there's a lot of grease inside and the pulley is as clean and and dry as possible from the outside uh, and this this was actually this is the uh, uh, the the way you can solve the problem this is the barrel adjuster just remove the barrel adjuster it's all clean here I'm just showing you there are three parts here we've got the bolt uh, we've got the a spring here so clean clean everything and there inside this bar adjuster they they might be some some dirt so clean it well this is new so there is no uh, no grease no no dirt uh, inside there but if there was it could get into the housing I'm showing you that here on the Sora we cannot remove these parts that means nope we're not gonna clean uh, the tension spring the, the spring that puts tension on the uh, on our um, cage and here if you if you use some pressured water you're gonna push the water inside this part of the derailleur and it's not gonna uh, go outside I mean, it, it's not gonna leave the derailleur uh, very soon so make sure you are a bit more careful with these uh, drillers here as you cannot open those here we've got some uh, little uh, lock it's quite easy to remove this one uh, and it's it's locking the mounting bolt this is how it looks like now I'm gonna push away the mounting bolt but, but before that there is a tension here right here there is a tension here because we've got another uh, spring here inside uh, so I'm removing now the spring make sure you know which side should go uh, towards the derailleur which side towards the, the outer side the longer hook goes inside the derailleur the shorter one goes to the outer side to the Drill hanger. Now I'm pushing away the bolt. I was sure there is there is some seal here, and even on the manual there should be some part here, but I, I, I don't have it on this derailleur. I was trying to remove it. Nope, it's not there. Uh, so I'm almost sure. I'm almost positive. Not nothing got got stuck there, um, and that's that's the reason why some dirt can get inside. You can see this is already dirty. This is already uh, like black after 60 kilometers uh, outside and you can already see somewhere 60 kilometers so Sora is not gonna be that uh, durable as uh, 105 or Altigra uh, it's still good components just know how to do it here the if there is no seal you wanna have more grease here because when you push the bolt back into the derailleur uh, the the binnacle it's gonna it's gonna just seal up nicely with the grease now the the spring just make sure there's a little bit uh, of it because um, the lower the tension the better the the gear change this is this is not a rubber this is a plastic thing 
uh, which which is supposed to uh, minimize the friction between this part I'm, I'm cleaning now and the derailleur so I'm not I'm not putting uh, grease there just the Brunox so that it will be dry and nice and uh, there, there will be less friction because uh, if I put grease here uh, this part will uh, will um, take a lot of dirt so I wanna I want this these two parts just to be dry and clean now I'm cleaning everything inside where the spring is uh, and now I'm pushing the bolt back into its place and now look at the grease it's gonna be pushed away from the binnacle and now boom you see it's nicely around the bolt I'm gonna clean it from the outside from the outer side and it's it's gonna hold for some hundreds of kilometers uh, make sure you do it well there's only one hole for this hook uh, there inside uh, and only one hole on the on the part uh, I'm gonna mm, assemble right now uh, you're gonna need some experience maybe but also some some power in your in your fingers so I'm gonna show you that's that's the direction you're gonna put more tension on the on the spring so you should you should go into that direction which means counterclockwise now so more tension more tension more tension it's gonna get difficult so uh, girls women if you do it you might need a uh, help of somebody else uh, you see you, you you need to push it that far away but you can also use pliers in order to get there I'm gonna show you how just hold it with the pliers and then it's much easier to to do it just make sure you don't scratch anything you you want to have nice good grip and now it's in place the mounting bolt should be pushed all the way because now when we are assembling it, it uh, we push the mounting ball bolt back uh, and if if it's not in its place the lock this little lock will not uh, be able to get to its place now be careful there's a thread here thread but you don't need much force here with the pliers okay so uh, it's back on its place I'm not sure whether I should do it like this with the screwdriver or just uh, or just with the with the Allen key and do it with uh, with the whole bolt so clean everything and now I'm using the uh, degreaser in order to remove all that original uh, grease there's too much grease it is so bad I think the new derailers from the higher group sets don't have it that much uh, but but still they they've been doing that for years and it's and it sucks so I'm just removing all that I'm removing now the uh, mounting bolts for the cable so that it will be easier for me to maneuver with the uh, with the rag open different parts of the derailleur and make sure it's uh, just as dry as possible uh, now with the degreaser uh, the rack and the, and the brush will do the job so there is no grease there uh, it is very nice it's shiny but dry you don't feel any 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 grease uh, under your, your fingers which is uh, which is good uh, so just clean it well I really clean it well and I try to have all the bushings clean and dry with no grease you can see how much difference it is right now between the new one and the one I have yes I'm gonna use from time to time you're gonna use uh, Brunox or uh, maybe some uh, finish line spray or so just spray it a little bit and clean it uh, well it's gonna work well G pulley uh, means uh, that's the guide pulley which is the one you put as the first one uh, at the top of the derailleur like this these are symmetrical so it doesn't matter which which side you 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 put it uh, to the mm, to the cage uh, just don't put too much tension on that bolt just yet uh, because you're gonna be able to open you want to be able to open uh, the cage of course when I'm this is now on my turbo trainer right so when I'm putting the derailleur I won't be able uh, to uh, to fix the the upper the, the um, guide pulley well uh, 
uh, you need to remove the bike and do it uh, well you you will be able to do it on uh, on the stand here make sure you don't mess with the thread here so the the derelict has to be straight use both hands in order to um, assemble it and make sure it moves it's not as easy here the movement as on those higher group sets uh, derailers but it's okay it will really work well if you if you maintain it maintain it and uh, i have no problems with the shifting look at how the chain is being guided here don't make a mistake with that little black thing you can see just under the uh, guide pulley now the tension pulley there is no it only says narrow on the tension pulley it it's not like t pulley or tension pulley they don't say anything but since you know which one is guide pulley then you know the other one is the tension pulley uh, now the uh, bar adjuster um, i'm always threading it uh, all the way in and then go back maybe two or three uh, movements uh, so that you can still have some adjustments both sides both ways uh, now the the housing uh, make sure that the cable is clean because uh, when you put it on the on the floor it can get some dirt so you don't want to have it on the cable now guide the cable through the uh, bar adjuster and then the uh, mounting bolt cable mounting bolt there is a little thing you should know how it goes so look at the at the movie from the beginning how it was if you don't remember don't make a mistake there the derailleur is there uh, to really finish the cleaning of the derailleur it's good to have a big chainring at the front big chainring at the rear uh, and now you have the access and uh, the, the derailleur holds on the bike so it's so easy now to clean it so well make it shiny beautiful Sora R3000 2018 <laughs> beautiful really beautiful group set I'm, I, I'm loving it now the sound better but not perfect listen to this huh The squeaking is still there, which means more lubricant. I've, I've put some um, spray there, uh, but it wasn't very, very good. I wanted to make sure it was not the crankset. No, it wasn't. Crankset is perfect. Okay, so uh, the Brunox didn't fix the problem. So I cleaned the Brunox uh, away and I've put more grease. And that was the uh, the solve the the that solved the the issue, guys. So just put a lot of grease. That's that's the thing. Otherwise, you can just upgrade your Sora uh, derailleur with some nice uh, uh, pulleys with the bearings. But uh, you can do it right now. It's very good. So it's easier, uh, it's cheaper, but it works. Uh, make sure you maintain your Sora R3000 well. Uh, let me know which part would you like to see in the future. Bye bye guys.